Drummers Against imply timekeeping. This is a triplet double. It's a double stroke roll done in a triplet form. Normally you would play the double stroke roll in a 16th or 32nd note form. But by playing it in a triplet form, you open up the notes and it allows your left hand to play a more dominant role uh, around the drum set. And I want you to see the things you can work with it. Uh, for review, uh, the double stroke roll in a 16th note form, of course, is so forth. But in the triplet form, I want you to do it like this. And work it up to get that triplet sound. And I want you to play it with time. Left hand lead and then go into the triplet left handed first. Quarter notes on the bass drum, like this. And just work on that sound. Uh, you don't have to play it fast, because the slower you play it, the better it sounds. Uh, and then, I want you to go around the drum set, hit your toms, uh, cymbals, percussion, whatever you have, and move the hands. work on that. That will start to uh, make your left hand take on just a better dominating sound. Then you can experiment with your right hand, but the triplet starts on the and uh, with when you start with your right hand. Uh, and so your, your quarter notes coming down on your bass drum, but you do the and and you come out on one. Let me show you. This is right-handed lead on the triplet. came in in one and you end up in one. Just keep this in mind. And the same thing, you have to move around the drum set with your right hand as the lead. But the left hand is more important in this particular uh, triplet because of its use of double strokes and left hand lead. So I want you to utilize the left more. It'll just give you so many creative ideas on the drum set because you can pull in, pull out. Most drummers are going to play single stroke rolls on every triplet that they play. In fact, I can't think of any who do, don't. But this will uh, allow you to use double stroke rolls and pull in and out. You can go back to single as well, but it gives you a variable in sound. So work on it. Now, uh, if you have questions, I welcome them on twitter.com forward slash drummers against, facebook.com forward slash drummers against implied timekeeping. Those of you who are looking into this video for the very first time, I welcome you and I invite you to go through my entire catalog of videos to understand what I'm teaching in an open-handed position. And I want you to subscribe. Your subscription is the support that I need to continue and it allows me to come up with new ideas that will inspire you to not just be a more independent player, powerful drummer, but I want to also inspire you to be more creative as a timekeeper. And exercises like this triplet I think are very good. And you guys who have stayed from the beginning, who want the most technically challenging videos, um, I will do my best to make them as difficult as possible for you. Uh, but they have to have applications. I just don't do the difficulty unless you can apply it to something. So bear with me and thank you. And so hopefully you like this triplet double. The important thing is to know the triplet. That's the most uh, critical thing here. Because if you don't have the triplet sounding right, it's going to be weird. Work on the triplet.
the sound like that. No speed involved. Just the triplet sound. And you'll see what happens. All right? My best to all of you. Thank you always. Uh, I appreciate the your looking in and allowing me to inspire you. So keep me posted how this works for you because it'll give me direction of uh, what I'll do in the future. All right? My best to all of you. Thank you for looking in.